99 overall, Kenny Vaccaro. We're going to see how he plays today. Check out his stats. And, man, the defense is now at a 99 overall. We'll go over that and more. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we're going to talk about this theme team and the two new additions. We're only going to be doing a gameplay on one, and that's Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, the other is Albert Hainsworth. I get a gameplay out for, uh, on him tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But for the meantime, the really, really, really key piece that we needed to complete this defense is the Kenny Vaccaro because he was only a 90 overall and we had to run uh, Kevin Byard over there for the longest time and have Logan Ryan at free safety. Uh, but with the addition of Kenny Vaccaro, we get to see that beautiful gold 99 on Kevin Byard finally. Um, and we see the uh, blue 99 on Kenny Vaccaro. Now, you're probably wondering right now, why don't you have a 99 overall defense? Well... The only problem is Rashawn Evans, but there's a way you can get this team to a 99 overall. I'll tell you briefly, um, but like, you know, if you got if you got any questions, please let me know down below. I'll, I'll gladly answer. I respond to all my comments. But the way you get this team to a 99 is all all you're gonna want to do here. Clowney is a 97 overall at middle linebacker. Okay, so you're gonna want to move Jadavion Clowney to middle linebacker number two or one. It doesn't matter either or. Sam Mills or Clowney here, it, it's fine. Um, but you're going to want to move Clowney here to inside linebacker, okay, middle linebacker. Um, and that bumps Rashawn Evans down where Avery Williamson is. Then Avery Williamson will go down to where uh, Jayon Brown is. Um, and Jayon's out the lineup. Um, but you're going to want to have Jadavion Clowney at middle linebacker, okay? After that, you're going to want to move Javon Curse up to this outside linebacker position here to replace Jadavion Clowney. Um, so you're going to have Clowney at middle linebacker. And now you're going to have Curse here at outside linebacker, at left outside linebacker. Um... And then you're going to want to move Kyle Vandenbosch over here to left end. Uh, I can't remember if he's a gold 99. I can check right quick. Uh, I think he's just a 98 here. No, he's a 90, he's a gold 99. So you can move Kyle Vandenbosch here. Um, he'll get that secondary chemistry uh, at you know left end. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, let me make sure. He's a, Yeah, he's a right end. So he does get the secondary position at left end here. Um, so like I said, now we have Clowney here. We got Javon Kurz here. And we've got Kyle Vandenbosch here. And where Kyle Vandenbosch is, you're going to want to move Kevin Carter up. Um, and then you want to put Javon Curse here at backup right end. The reason is, is because he does not. And we can check him out right quick. I want to go over this pretty briefly because I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. But you guys probably want to know how to get this 99 overall Titans team team defense. But uh, what you want to do here, he, you guys see... He does not, okay, guys? He does not. I can probably just refund this because I really didn't need it. Uh, but he does not get the secondary chemistry either outside linebacker position. So not right outside linebacker or left outside. He doesn't get either one. Uh, so that does kind of hurt. But um, if you want to get that 99 overall Titans team team defense, that's what you're going to have to do. Uh, and the bad thing about not getting that is that you're going to have to put him at backup uh, right end, okay? So you're going to have to put him at backup right end to keep his chemistry working here at outside linebacker. Again, he does get chemed up to a 99. He's an, I believe he's a 96 here. He gets chemed up to a 99 with the chemistries I have on him um, right now. And we'll go over those. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over those right now. But like I said, just quick little recap. Clowney at middle linebacker. Javon Curse here at outside linebacker. Uh, Kyle Vandenbosch here to replace Javon Curse, And then move Kevin Carter up to replace Kyle Vandenbosch. And then have Javon Curse here back up right in. Um, and then he'll, his chemistries will activate and they will go towards the team. Um, but I'm probably going to keep my team like this. The reason is, is because chemistries, I want to be able to keep as many chemistries on the, you know, on the team as possible. And with, you know, moving Javon Curse out of position and having him plugged in at backup, that does take up some chemistry opportunity there. Um, but again, if you want to see that 99 defense on your main screen, uh, you know, if it looks pretty to you, go ahead. But for me, I'm going to leave 98 Rashawn Evans out there. And again, maybe Avery Williamson gets a power-up expansion. Um, who knows? But maybe maybe Rashawn Evans gets, or maybe Jayon Brown gets like a future Stars card or something like that. Um, but for the meantime, I'm just going to leave the team like this because I think it's, it's set up perfectly. If you like to see that 99 on your screen, then do what I told you. 
Um, and again, if you want to get that 99 overall defense um, shown on the screen and you don't understand what I just said, ask me whatever questions you need to know, okay? But uh, here's the chemistry to have on defense. Run stuff, there's everyone with run stuff. Uh, lockdown, there's everyone with lockdown. Uh, shaker and sprinter, there's just something interesting in here that I, I did uh, for each of these chemistries. I've been saying it from the get-go. Do not put Brawler over 40 because you do lose a lot. Uh, but... You know, I went against my will there uh, because of Kenny Vaccaro. Now, as you guys can see, I transitioned from Sh Sprinter to Shaker earlier this year, maybe like in April, I think April last month. Actually, it's June now, so uh, a couple months ago when I was, in, I think it was around April is when I made the switch from Sh uh, Sprinter to Shaker because we've got so many guys that have 96 plus speed. There's no need to have Sprinter because you lose a lot more with Sprinter. Um, same thing with Brawler. You lose a lot with Brawler, but... With Kenny Vaccaro here, I have Brawler on him, and I'll show you guys why I have Lockdown on him. Uh, and then also, I am rocking this card art, Superstar MVP. So a lot of you might have this card art here. I think it's kind of just, kind of, you know, it's it's fine. But, you know, I think this has a little bit more detail on it. Uh, you know, on the right side of the card, it has a couple arrows, stuff like that. Um, I like the little details like that. Uh, but then you have the two other card arts there with the, you know, normal power up and then your core gold there. So really not the flashiest card arts on him. Hey, but it, it is what it is. I'm not worried about what the card looks like. I'm worried about how he plays on the field. The reason I went with Brawler is because he only has 95 speed. Uh, if he had 96 speed, this card would help me out a little bit. But hey, I'm fine with using Brawler and get him up to 99 speed. He's got 99 speed, 98 excel, 99 tackling, 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 90 man coverage which is fine he hits the threshold there 97 zone coverage uh it's fine doesn't get up to 99 unfortunately it's not possible um it does have a 99 hit power though and you guys see what i'm rocking with on him i've got enforcer and deflator on him so he should be knocking people's heads off um hopefully forcing some fumbles for me um and like i said i might transition to user him with kenny vaccaro but i've been so spoiled to use a six foot i believe clowny six foot five six foot four six foot five so i don't know how that transition will work uh, obviously, I get a lot more speed with Kenny Vaccaro, um, but then I would have to still use Logan Ryan out there on the field. But I think for the meantime, we've got so many good linebackers. I'm just going to use Clowney for the rest of the year, unless we get another upgrade at you know at safety. Gosh, I wish Amani Hooker got a um, an upgrade. I love he's one of my favorite Titans, um, and I wish he would have gotten like a Rising Stars card. Um, I can't believe they gave that Kyle Duggar a card before Armani Hooker. That's ridiculous. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, but if we had one more safety, I'd definitely consider using Kenny Vaccaro. I might end up using Kenny Vaccaro, but for the meantime, I'm going to stick with Jadavion Clowney because I feel like letting Kenny Vaccaro play on his own and, you know, cause hit sticks, you know, hit stick fumbles and stuff like that himself, I think he'll play a lot better without me having to use him. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I end up making that transition because it does save me some AP. Not, I mean, Clowney's just so good. Clowney is so good. He's got whatever you want, you know, ability-wise. But, yeah, Kenny Vaccaro looks really good. We're going to see how he plays today. Um, but, yeah, he's six foot, so I'm losing four or five inches from Clowney uh, to Kenny Vaccaro. But I'm gaining, what, four, four speed, four or five speed on him. So, who knows? I might end up switching. I don't know. But for the meantime, I'm probably going to be using on Clowney for this one. Uh, 81 strength, 95 agility. Uh, I believe we went over the speed and excel already. 81 catching is very good for Kenny Vaccaro. 98 jumping, 98 injury on stamina doesn't matter. Uh, change of direction there at 91, so solid change of direction. I believe Clowney has something like mid 80 change of direction. I can't, you know, remember quite. Uh, I don't know 100% on that, but uh, continuing on here, he's got. A big stat here that I wanted to show you guys was the uh, the block shed at 74 is not bad at all. I am, mm, if I end up using this card, I'll probably uh, switch the chemistry from lockdown to run stuff to get the block shed up on him because I believe he'll get up to 79 block shed with max run stuff. Uh, so that would be phenomenal. But like I said, he's still going to be sitting in some zones for me. So I'm going to have him dropping back in zone coverage, stuff like that. Uh, but for, yeah, th this card is very underrated. Uh, you know, a lot of people, not the most exciting card to come out today, not the most well known player to come out today, but hey, a very underrated card, especially on a Titans theme team. Um, honestly, I think you have to have him on a theme team because of his speed. Uh, but other than that, the card looks really, really good. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see how he plays on the field today. 
All right, guys, hopping into this one. We're taking on Lamar Jackson, Deion Sanders, and William Jackson. There's our top three. Two golden tickets in our top three there. Uh, let, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Let's go ahead and let's get this dub today. All right, guys, first play on defense. You guys see Kenny Vicar over there uh, in a deep blue um, on the right side of the field there. Going to drop back, and let's see. He's going to hit his delay fade there. Big hit from, who's that, Rashawn Evans? Yeah, that was Rashawn Evans there. Completely forgot that he's on the field in 3-4. Completely forgot that we were in 3-4 as Deion Sanders catches that one. Gain is 7. All right. Might have forgotten how to play this game, but we're going to give it our best shot. Haven't played Madden in about, I don't know, maybe a week or so. So might be a little rusty here with my user in, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll still see what we can do here. Uh, defensively as he throws it there quick little out route there uh, we're a little late there with Sam Mills uh, but it gets first down up to the 40 all right guys I'm out here in nickel this possession let's go ahead and put a spy out there for Lamar he might look for the delay fade here again he's gonna try and throw it Ooh, that was Jason McCourty I thought that was Kenny Vaccaro but it was Jason McCourty second and ten forcing the incompletion we'll take it all right so I gotta make sure I'm gonna flip the play here um, I didn't get my adjustments down in time. Um, he's going to look for that. And look at Kenny Vaccaro. That's a touchdown if Kenny Vaccaro is not there. What a touchdown saving hit. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to be taking away as many seam routes as I can because we are really really vulnerable here in, in, in a cover three um, but let's see what he's going to do here underneath over the middle and he throws it right at me it's Jadavion Clowney I love you Clowney let's go no no homo let's go we'll, we'll take it at the 41 big stop there defensively Kenny Vaccaro makes a game saving hit stick at the goal line forcing the incompletion what a play Kind of had a drive going there. We ended it with a pick on the fourth down. Um, and I'm stuck on big boy Leroy. As he's going to try and throw that there. And that's going to be completed. I'm trying to see what zone. I can't get my adjustments down. Um, but we'll give a shot here. He's going to try that. D, good defense, Sam Mills. That was tough. That was, that was almost a great dot. But Sam Mills is there to swat it away. All right. Exactly how I want everyone aligned here. I want you in a deep half to not get that uh, adjusted in time. Looking for the underneath route. He's got it complete for a gain of seven. Not a first down, though. He's going to go in a huddle. Um, mm. I'll just go cover two. Screw it. Uh, we're in man, actually. He went there. He caught it. Wow. Just... Low ball after low ball. I've got to bring the big boys in here. Um, third and four. Yeah, I expected him to come out in some sort of package like this. Falls forward to the one. Man, just can't stop him here. There's just no way for me to stop him. Try and pinch everyone here. Underneath, he's got it for a touchdown. Man, that's a tight window. Cannot believe he threw that football, man. I thought it was going to maybe steal one there with a pick or something, but could not. Let's, uh, just tough. Really, really tough there as he goes up 7 nothing. I feel like our offense, we are a, we're going to be capable of scoring the ball, but it's just we just got to consistently get 3, 4 yards, 5 yards of play. For us to hang in here is he's going to kick it. Try and scum kick it, but he's not going to be able to do so here. Uh, as we're going to get it with Barry Sanders, who's swerving. Got up to the 31 there, so we'll take it. Oh, right, excuse me. Let's go, AJ. Let's go, AJ. Get it and go. There we go. That's what we needed. We're going to go no huddle. Let's go. On the right hash where I want it. See what we can do here. Maybe AJ corner route. If he's still in man, this dude is insane. Okay, he's not. 
Let's low ball AJ Brown. Let's rack it, rack it, juke up the field. What a drive so far up to the six yard line. Let's give the rock to big boy Derek Henry. Let's see what he can do with it. So far, so good. This drive, we put together a very solid drive, couple slants. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to try our best. Uh, did I not pick a play here? I guess I didn't. Um, but we're going to try to feed the rock here to Derek Henry. I don't want we'll, we'll, we'll try and go ISO here as I get a false start. Switching the plays too much. All right, we're going to throw a couple drags out here. A corner route with Jared Cook. We gave ourselves a little bit more room to work with, but sometimes that's not good. Um, we're at the 6-yard line. Now we're at the 11. Uh, we're going to look for Jared Cook, maybe. No way. Outside the pocket. We'll dump it. Oh, what the heck just happened? Randy Moss, I don't know. But Randy Moss, what the world just happened? <laughs> Randy Moss just glitched across the goal line. And what? I mean, he just skirted over there. I should have let y'all watch that, but I, I, I don't know what just happened. Randy Moss was literally sit, standing on the, the, the number 10 at the 10-yard line, and then he got sucked over to the sideline, and then somehow broke a tackle, scored the touchdown, and we tie the game at seven apiece. All right, guys, here we go. We gotta, we gotta figure out how to stop this guy's offense. The last time he just drove down, drove down the field on me, so he's probably gonna look for something. He's got the sideline. That might be out of bounds. It is out of bounds. Okay, so incomplete pass there, second and ten. All right, just gotta continue to not give him enough time. All right, I put, I, put, I think I put Jason McCordy in deep half there. Over the middle. That's a great bump route. Look at Derek Roberson getting a swat there. We bumped his receiver there with Jadavion Clown. He's exactly what I wanted to do without getting a penalty. And now it's third and ten. So we're right where we need to be. One more stop is big here. Forcing a fourth and ten will be phenomenal. And I couldn't. I'm on big boy Leroy. Great. Over the middle. Underneath. He ran backwards. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth down. He only got eight yards there. It's fourth and two. What's he going to do? He's going to go for it. All right, we got to make sure we're on Clowney here. And a quick snap to me again. Underneath there, he's got the completion, I believe. Who's that, Calvin Johnson there? Yeah. He's got it up to the 41. Yeah, to the 41. If we cannot let him score three here, it's going to be tough to do that. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll be fine with giving up three here. All right. That's exactly what I want to do here. Got my adjustments down, just didn't blitz Clowney. There's no way he gets that there. He does get it there. <sighs> Yikes. All right, I'm actually going to spy curse, leave everyone out there. I'm um, Put you in a deep half. I probably could put him in a quarter um, and take away that outside, but I'm shading outside. I, I, just, I think I put him in outside. No, I didn't. I didn't put him in outside corner. Dumps it off here. Two, Calvin Johnson got out of bounds. Yeah. Looking like a tough drive here, second and two. Staying in the same package here. I've got to go hard flats. And I'm going to put McCourty in a quarter. Uh, that way, that takes away the crosser there. If he wants to try to go to the crosser, good luck. As he's going to motion over man there. Low balls, it got it complete. It's a nine. It's going to go no huddle here. Giving me some trouble here. Uh, there we go. I got everything that I want right now. Derek Roperson's just got to get home eventually. Uh, send him. Make a play on the ball. There we go. Okay, so I believe a Tory Jackson knocked that one loose. Second and goal now at the nine. 17 seconds left. That, that play took off. You know, a good bit of time there. Let me just get my adjustments down. Big boy Leroy spy you. Couldn't get my quarter out there, but it's fine. Let's send him. He's got him over the middle there. No, he doesn't. Sack, pick, Kenny Vaccaro, interception. Woo, I was going to try and take that one back. What a play. Kenny Vaccaro not only saved one touchdown, he saved two in this one. What a play once again, Kenny Vaccaro. Great gameplay so far. You guys saw big boy Leroy getting pressure there. We're just going to end this one off with ISO and just try and get out of the half. 
man, that was a great stop. Great stand by the defense. We're getting ball at halftime. Great play. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry! Derrick Henry! Oh my god! Derrick Henry outrun Deion Sanders. Derrick Henry go! 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 Derrick Henry! Oh no! Derrick Henry! What was that? A rush of like 80 yards? Oh man, I, there was nothing I could do there. I did... I don't, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there, guys. Do I just try and stiff arm from behind? I thought about hurdling, but there's just... And he, he just let, he quit. <laughs> hey, I guess that was the game-winning play. Back-to-back -back there with the pick and the Derrick Henry running for an 80-yard. I don't know why he quit there. There's no need to quit, but hey, we'll take it. All right, guys, you saw here first Kenny Vaccaro making a play to save a touchdown and then making another play to save a touchdown he hit someone at the goal line to force the incompletion. If I'm telling you right now, if he did not have Enforcer or Deflator there, I guess we could just stay. We I guess we don't have to use Deflator on him. We could just stick with Enforcer. But hey, for the gameplay, why not use both? Um, but I'm telling you, if he didn't have Enforcer there at the goal line, that's a touchdown. That's just the normal normal catch, normal tackle. That's a touchdown. But Kenny Vaccaro hit sticks a man. No touchdown, incomplete pass, and then later in the game. Makes a game-saving interception there. Man, big boy Leroy brought the pressure in twice, forcing Lamar to roll out. Got hit as he threw, and Kenny Vaccaro was there to make a, a great interception. Um, kind of the ball just dropped in his hands. Um, man, and then after that, Derrick Henry. I'm t I don't know what it is, guys, but I'm telling you, having stock 99 speed, I'm telling you, it's, it's faster than having... Um, you know, Derrick Henry kept up with 99. Because you saw Deion Sanders caught Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry on my team has 99 speed. Um, so I don't know what that is. I, you know, maybe it's some sort of mechanic in the game where if someone's trailing someone, they catch up to him. But I don't know. I mean, Derrick Henry has 99 speed. Deion Sanders has 99 speed. And somehow, some way, Deion Sanders was able to catch Derrick Henry. If it if Derrick Henry has 99 speed and Deion Sanders has 99 speed, then Derrick Henry, if he has a five-yard, you know, lead, should keep that five-yard lead all the way to the end zone. But that wasn't the case there. But, hey, it is what it is. He ended up leaving the game anyway. But, yeah, Kenny, Vigar uh, Kenny Vaccaro gameplay, pretty phenomenal, guys. Made two game-saving plays. Um, plays very well at that strong safety spot for me. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave him there. I'm not going to use her with him. Um, I think he plays great with that enforcer and deflator. Maybe just take off deflator because I really don't know how. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what I want to do here. But maybe for the meantime, I'll leave both of those abilities on him, especially enforcer um, because, yeah, that saved the game for me at the goal line. Um, but, yeah, with that being said, Albert Hainsworth gameplay coming tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. Um, hopefully we get some more upgrades here. Maybe we see a promo this Friday. Uh, maybe not. We'll see some more Dev Golden Tickets, and maybe after the Dev Golden Tickets uh, come out, then maybe we'll see another promo, Future Star, or something like that. I'd love to see something like that with a Jayon Brown, uh, you know, new new player item for him. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to see some Dev Golden Tickets, maybe a Tyrone Calico Golden Ticket. That would be a great card. That was a guy that I, we it came down to Tyrone Calico and A.J. Brown when it came to us making a Golden Ticket. We, we eventually went with A.J. Brown, obviously, um, because we expected Tyron Calico to either someone else make him a golden ticket or a power of expansion because you guys see Albert Hainsworth got a power of expansion, DRC got a power of expansion, uh, Taylor Mays got a power of expansion, and a lot of those, those guys were from the 50, and I think Tyron Calico is one of few that are left that haven't got an upgrade uh, and that's had that lower overall 50 card for the whole year. So either he gets a golden ticket or... You know, he gets the power of expansion, and that card will be insane. And I think next week we'll see the first edition or, or the first drop of gold 99 power of expansion players. Uh, so, yeah, I cannot wait. I, I really, really cannot wait for next week and especially this Friday to see who the golden tickets are going to be. I don't know if we're going to get any news until then or if it's just going to be a complete shock to see who the, the dev gold tickets are going to be. But maybe they do two weeks dev golden tickets. Maybe they do four this week, four next week. Um, but I think it makes sense for this to be the final four golden tickets for the year because that would put us exactly at 25, and that number just sounds right. 29 doesn't sound too nice. 25 sounds a little bit better. So I think to round out the whole year, having 25 golden tickets, uh, I think sounds the best. Uh, but yeah, 
Kenny Vaccaro, like I said, he plays phenomenal. Definitely recommend you picking him up. My training absolutely is gone now. I'm still got 129,000, but I think I had like 280 something thousand, or something like maybe 230,000 or something after me powering up Kenny Vaccaro and Albert Hainsworth. Yeah, I'm a little low now, but hey, I think that'll last me for the rest of the year. But yeah, but that being said, this dude plays phenomenal. Pick him up. We have a 99 overall defense now, pretty much. So hey. Love to see it. But with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.